All right, so said I had a bunch of these in the can. This is uh, the second of six. And uh, so, again, I'm back with Austin. He's treating it with iodine. And now we're going to start on the rose petals. Austin really wants me to just, like, explain the process of how I do these. But I liked how you did it in the first couple videos. I think it's a good idea. It's so painful. What are you doing? You're not even painting. Is that just water? Yeah. And you put water on and it spreads? You have to put water because it'll burn the image otherwise and be uneven. Burn the image? What does that mean? It's like... Paper is dry, watercolor is wet. If you put a wet on a dry, it will be inconsistent. So if you introduce a thin coat of water to a paper, now you're introducing a wet to a wet and wet on wet. Yeah, wet on wet on wet. It's easier to control. See, See how boring that was? That was like no, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Of my life. That's. I feel like I feel like I can start dabbling in watercolors now. Yeah, that's the trick. You think that you'll hear someone who's done it, and then you think that yeah, you know and it what piques it. an interest, and then I'm gonna go find more Ugh. shit to watercolor. Ugh. And it's a little bird on a teacup. I like Ugh. it. Yeah, I like the design. It's a little hipster tattoo. I figured out how to come up with a uh, cool it's tattoos. It's because I'm going to be a barista the rest of my life. Oh, my and God. And it really sings to me like this bird. I think two people and... are getting this tattoo uh, like next week. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Cause it looks, that gold rim on that coffee cup looks dope, and I'm not being I'm not being uh, dismissive about that. That looks uh, really cool. It's just yellow on brown or brown on yellow. Yeah, and how you get the shine? Go. I love how you, I love how you can layer the light, and you can get all this. You can get all, all this deep and refractory kind of. Uh, so um, yeah, it's like all the little tricks, all the contrast. little illusions you do to make people think. Right, it is an illusion. You're creating illusions, and it's really know. cool. You're yeah. a little. You're a you're a magician with a paintbrush. Hey, I know, right? That's that's the. That's the tip. This is cool. I like this piece a lot. Yeah, this one was a good one. And I'll so you just you one. just left that ornate blue on that teacup, and it looks nah, like some I china. I went back into it. Yeah, but I went back into. Are we it gonna see it. that? You're yeah, gonna go. Oh, right here we go. And you're just inking that, huh? Yeah, I'm putting it back in because the water like dulled it. Sure. Not me, but she. Gosh, that's so cool. It's cool, but when you actually you're have very to do talented. it, it takes time. You also learn this. You also like went to it's school. It's more of just craft. I'm good at the craft of it. Anyway, we're oh, going to make another awesome. one. So Do you see how he made the eye? He took the paint yep, away to right. make the eye. Toodles from Chicago today. Toodles from Chicago.